Okay, y'all. We back. It didn't take long at all. Okay, so let me tell you what I got. I got norm normally I just always do the house flower. Um Let me see what my receipt says. Did they give me the right one? Oh yeah, they did give me the right one. Okay. So I got a half ounce. I always get a half ounce every two weeks. A pack of pre-rolls. This is not sponsored. And then some tangerine lost farm. They're like Starburst. And then we got by Camino. We got Orchard Apple, which I'm about to try right now. Yeah, I love stuff that has like lemon, lemon sour. And then because I spent how much I spent, I got a little gram for a penny. So I'm about to try one of these. Um, and we got some apricot haze pre-rolls. Look at how it's packaged. I love the packaging always is like packaging to me is just like essential in the marketplace packaging is everything like i love like looking at bottles of wine you know what i'm saying and um looking at the labels who's like the most creative with their labels when the bottles are like etched or like molded like looking like there's a um there's a bottle of rose the bottom of it when you look at the bottom of the glass it's a rose you know like packaging is just so like important to me i feel like you know cute cute packaging cute ways to have um the um oh these smell good you can smell them out the bag girl these smell like i'm about to have two of these these smell like green apple jolly rancher jolly ranchers let me turn this down Vegan fruit chews, cannabis infused. I'm about to stuff both of these in my mouth. Let me see what other. Um, I didn't get your sweet tea, Bondi. They had they had a Georgia peach sweet tea too. They were giving that away in a Thanksgiving bundle. Georgia peach. It was Georgia peach sweet tea. Mm-hmm. I got the pre-rolls though, Bondi. I got the pre-rolls, girl. I'm on my way. Mm. Y'all like wild gummies? I don't like them because they're only five milligrams each. So I feel I feel crazy like putting four in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me see what else y'all said y'all want to talk about. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh. That's all y'all said y'all want to talk about. Yeah, Harf Pierre, he um he's accused. He got he got some allegations on his head. Let me see. I think I saved it. I'm trying to see what this car is about to do. What you about to do? I need you to drive. God. It says Harv Pierre, bad boy. Former bad boy president Harv Pierre accused of SA and harassment. Oh, damn. Look at all the damn trucks coming. Just days after Bad Boy Records founder Diddy was hit with a lawsuit by ex girlfriend Cassie, a longtime executive at his company, Bad Boy Entertainment, has also been slapped with one. Them good. Them things is good. I'm about to have another one. I ain't got nowhere to go. Oh, we. Let me tell you something. It might be a little fetishy. Come on, girl. Okay. But that gave clap, 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 Kapler. I said Clapper the last time. Kapler. Them type of dudes. With the salt and pepper. And the sleeves. And the salt and pepper and the chiseled jaw. 
Mm-hmm. Girl, wait a minute. Y'all see how... Okay, hold on. Is the light out? Oh, it's not. Hmm. I read something somewhere that Pax, Jolie, Angelina Jolie's son, said that they're his brothers and sisters used to be. Where are you going in a hurry? I hope you get to where you going, truck. He said his sisters um, or his siblings are getting scared around their dad. And did you notice um, Zahara is her name? Sahara, Zahara. Angelina Jolie's daughter, she went, you know, she went to Spellman. She pledged AKA. And when she called out her name, she said Zahara Jolie. It was no pit on there. I said, oh, he must have been a terrorizer. He sounded like he was a terrorizer. I can't wait till they get older and they can tell us more stories about their father. Because Brad Pitt, I was talking, you know, I'm thinking, I was looking at this dude that passed and he was attractive, the white dude. He had salt and pepper, grave salt and pepper in his hand. He had tattoos all over him. And that made me think of like that, that face, that, that look, that white, you know, that white man look, you know, David Beckham, Gabe Kapler, you know, Brad Pitt, that look, you know, that chiseled jaw look. I like, I, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with that look. Danger. Stay stay back 50 feet. So yeah, what was I, we were talking about, girl? Let me tell you something. Tell them people you change your mind. You ain't coming for Thanksgiving. You want to be able to digest your food. Fuck them people. <laughs> we don't do the traditional. I told them next year I do want some some greens. I do want some greens and some um mac and cheese and some can I want some candied yams. Well, let me tell you something. My grandfather, baby, when I tell you he's a baby, I tell you he's to tear up some mac and cheese and some damn candied yams. Ooh. Yes. Them candy yams used to be so good, like just so like all the damn butter and cinnamon and shit he used to be putting on there. I used to be like, damn. But they used to come out so good. So good. Y'all like marshmallows in your... I don't like that souffle. The, the souffle when they try to souffle the shit and put marshmallows in it. Girl, what is that? <laughs> I don't like it. Y'all, it, it, some people say it tastes good, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't. I need to go to the store. I do want to get um, a, watch out a pie or something. Shit. You so eager. Eager beaver. So yeah. So Hard Pierre, honey says allegations, honey. The complaint filed in the New York County Supreme Court obtained by Rolling Stone states he's being accused of preying on the Jane Doe plaintiff on multiple occasions and shout out to the girls that come out as Jane Doe because it doesn't give people the opportunity to be like, oh, she just want people to see. She just want people. She just want, she just want, she just want, you know, the people that automatically hop on the side. Why you wait so long and all this other shit? You don't, you ain't gonna believe her if she came out the day after. If she came out of the room and told you she had just been assaulted, you wouldn't believe her. So it doesn't matter what the y'all say. Girl, stand up. Come out with your stories. Come out with your stories. Let me read a couple comments as we pull up to the pull up to my bumper, baby. Shout out to Grace Jones. Um, as we come up to this lie, it's typically the culture of the establishment. Exactly. To think Diddy and Diddy alone was doing all this is crazy. Nobody thinks it Diddy was alone. Don't nobody think Diddy was alone, honey. The girls have too many stories. They have too many stories. I get that everyone wants tea, but if any of these stories that come out are true, these are women and even men behind these posts that have to deal with the alleged realities. Damn, you was damn, were you in my back seat? Shit. Girl. 
it's not just, it's a lot of them. It's a lot. And that's why I say, I was saying the other day, when Drew Dixon came out with her story about Russell Simmons, I really thought that that was going to start like a domino effect of just like all these women just coming out. But I think, that, you know, there's, there's things that you have to do. You have to find representation. You got to find, you know, you got to do all the things. So shout out to the girls who are coming out who are like, you know, going after, after these violent men. I can't wait till the men start coming out and say, telling their stories because the men are being abused too. Okay, if it was, if it wasn't Wale hanging, Wale said it wasn't him hanging over the balcony. It was some, it was somebody being hung over a balcony. So whoever it was, there was a person being hung over a balcony. So it's men being abused, it's women being abused, and they're all being protected by male and women dick suckers, beef suckers. You're all over there sucking beef, sucking the skin off of the beef, off of the beef cake. Okay? I want all of them to fall. I, I just, I'm telling you. They're not trying to make that a car dealership, are they? A little car, a little car lot? Why do them cars have price tags on them? That don't even go. Like, this is a residential area. What? Why would you put like a little car, a place to buy some cars off to the side? Girl, what? That don't even go. Girl, anyway, so that's about it that we had to talk about. That's what y'all put in there. Y'all said y'all was going to ride with me to the dispensary. Yeah. We, we could probably pull over and stop a little bit and have a little conversation, talk about some other things. I should go get me a, um, a latte and we can go get a latte and then come back down here while the sun slaps me in the side of the face. Let me see. Somebody said at this point, Diddy's dirt might be worse than R. Kelly. No, it's about the same. Somebody said, oh, my God, he sound worse than Suge Knight. No, nigga, they the same. <laughs> they the same. They're the same. But Puffy is like water, right? Suge Knight. It's on his birthday. He gives me an air sign. You got me got working. April 19th. He's an Aries. It's an Aries. That's why them Aries, let me tell you something. The way that they come across, look at how Toya are married to medicine. I have, I'm an Aries moon. But then you got that Scorpio, the way they move is a little different, right? One is in your face. I'm in your face. Ironically, ironically, one is in your face and the other one is doing the dirt under, under wraps. And I was reading that complaint again. I was thinking to myself, he really, he really got this girl and was literally using her as a SEX slave. He really was. It was almost like, and then, and then you get, and it's like, then he had her addicted to drugs. So all of this is happening in an altered mind state. Like she's in an altered mind state where all of this stuff is happening to her. And then given her ketamine he could have killed her ketamine not with the i mean like never mind all the other drugs but ketamine that's where she got the memory loss because i was looking at, i was like okay ketamine okay that's where the that's where the memory loss comes from she has memory loss and oh yeah she just in it for a money grab nigga i need to give i need to get therapy so i can remember shit what are you talking about over there peter gunn's face looked like a the, the ass of a pig talking about she he just in it for a money grab so it was a money grab yeah i'm grabbing all the money nigga i'm taking all the money off this motherfucking table y'all abused women i'm taking all the money it is a money grab nigga now what that's what i want the girls to say you goddamn right i'm grabbing all the money and all the money that i can get off you motherfuckers because if you use your money to abuse, you need to be able to use your money to 
be held responsible for the things that you use your money to abuse people with. Now you need to pay the people off. Can't help you, bro. I don't have no cash. April 19th, 58 years old. Can you imagine if that was your father? He has children. Your father is Suge Knight. Your father is Puffy. My goodness. It's typically the culture. Does he have 30 mil? If he's not, he's going to jail. Take that, take that, take that. It's starting to have a new meeting. Cassie opened up a can of worms. She knew what she was doing. The dildo of consequences rarely comes with lube. Shout out to Violent Delights 34. That was funny. Adult Survivors Act is allowing survivors of assault to hold their accusers accountable and responsible. You're going to acknowledge what you did and you're going to be responsible for what you did. It's two things that need to happen, not just accountability. Because they never really are going to be held accountable. They'll be held responsible, but they're going to say they didn't do anything. So they're not going to acknowledge any wrongdoing. What did he say? Let's be clear. This is not a proof or an admission of guilt. March 2024, the curtains will be pulled all the way back. There's worse to come out. Are you surprised? Some of y'all are blessed to be are blessed to be too young to remember or know the half of what people were capable of. It was an era. I'm trying to tell you. Thanks for choosing our service. What can I get for you today? Hi, may I have a hot grande dirty chai with um, two shots of espresso, please? And then may I have three pumps of brown sugar in that? And um, can you make that with oat milk, actually? And then 180 degrees? I heard oatmeal or oat milk, right? Uh Uh-huh, oat milk. Oat milk. And then um, at 180 degrees. 180. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. I got you down for that one drink. It's going to be 925. Thank you. You got it. Come on, snowman cookie. Oh, I should have got a banana nut bread. Oh, I should have got a banana nut bread. I think I want a banana nut bread. I should have got a pumpkin spice. Ooh, wee, I can't wait for everything to hit the fan. They deserve all the karma, good or bad, they fit in the get. Y'all got the right picture. They flock together. Not surprised. Yep. Abusing women. It, it's a part of the culture. And then as we read Darkest Hue yesterday, it, it's in the lyrics. And then I saw somebody, somebody tagged me in something where this woman was like, it's a fact. It's a fact that kids come f- that who come from single mother homes are worse off. Girl, I said, let me let me let me find it. We got some shit to talk about. Here she Oh no, that's not her. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if somebody liked the com one of the comments maybe if they did that then I could see. Hold on, let me find it. I'm trying to find. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. Listen to this woman. Pandemic witness. We are in a crisis, a pandemic with this single mother and shit. But it is a proven fact that single mother households not produce a, the worst product. Facts. It's- That's a lie. And we have the guy on TikTok who this this statistic that she's referring to is something that I think is over 50 years old. The stat is over 50 years old and the stat was taken for a specific group 
of incarcerated people and they found out they came from single mother homes. So they created this narrative that because these men came from single mother homes, this is the, this is the outcome. Facts. No, it's not. It's not facts. Y'all lying. Wait, let me, let, let me start her all. It's a proven fact. No, it's not. Shut your goofy ass up. Fact. If you take two parent households, single father household, single mother household, statistically based on facts, yep. the household with the woman heading it by herself produces the worst product. And for our people, for black people, for African American people, those single mother households are the reason why prisons are filled with a good. Ma- That's not true. Number one, first of all, single fathers are more than likely getting help from women. So that might be a reason why the kids fare well. Single mothers, the majority of them are not allowing any old body in their house. So they're not going to get the help from a man because any man will do. Because, I mean, you can go and get any nigga off the street and tell him to come stay with you and you and help you raise your kids and and live in my house and all this other shit. Honey, they'd be more more than happy to do that. Women, men are not not they're not trustworthy enough to be around children, strange men, strange women ain't either. But the fact is these single, single fathers, more than likely they have some help and the help is a a woman. Okay. Now people coming from two parent homes, you need to talk to them and ask them, your dad was in the home. What did you learn from your father? Nothing. What did your father give you? Nothing. What are these women in, 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 in married household and two parent households doing all the labor, emotional, physical, all the labor, all the labor, plus the labor for the man too. What is that teaching the children? Right. You got to be mindful. Yeah. Two parent might, I don't think it to me, I wouldn't say two parent. We live in a new world. I would say two or more people raising a child fare well. Stop saying that the mother has to be with the father. See, y'all love to put the onus on the woman. The Some women don't want to be around the father of their children. That does not mean that the father is released from all responsibility of the child. That's where, that's where the game is fucked up. You want to blame the mother for putting the father out of the home, but, but, and the children, the child is not raised with their father. They become father deficient because all the, the facts that you want to talk about is that when the man no longer has access to the woman, he's more than likely not to take care of his child. And then let another woman come in the picture. He is more than likely to ignore, spend less time with the child who's not in the home. That's just math, mathematically the case. Because he's going to be more spending more time with the kid that's in the home. Here they go. Started of our one hundred percent right. right. So, the- so you want to blame the majority of incarcerated men on single mother homes, as if once the child leaves the parental home, they are not influenced by culture, peers, and society. You are, this society is powered by a patriarchy. You are, you are reared to have a level of disdain or something for women and also for other men and see men in competition. So you're saying that the amount of people in prison who came from single are, are, are in there because they came from a single mother home as if culture, peers, and society doesn't have an impact on the child once he leaves the home he or she leaves the home they go out and find community where do the boys go they go out and find communities of other men what do those men do all of a sudden what happens when the child goes off to college and they come home for Thanksgiving and they have these new ideas and opinions about things that you never even introduced them to? These ideas that they have about women, how they view women. Nigga, where did you learn this? You didn't come from a house like this. Oh, I learned it from the group of men that I was in community with that I went to go find. 
other communities of men teach men how to relate to each other, how to relate to children, how to relate to women. Blaming everything because the mother doesn't want the father next to her does not, does not release accountability and responsibility that the father still has to the child. So don't blame the mother. Y'all need to stop doing that. And y'all need to stop acting like the single married mothers, right? are not experiencing living in a two-parent home and what the children are experiencing by watching the mother do every fucking thing in the home. Here we go. The facts. Mm -hmm. Sit this on the table. Here go the facts. Mm -hmm. And then you say, so y'all need to start valuing men being involved in the lives of your children. I can't make you be with your baby daddy or we can't say that somebody has to stay with somebody because we know that children are being born out of situations where the two people aren't healthy together yeah. but you having access to a man and a woman during your upbringing needs to be brought back okay. well, i gotta laugh when i say this because and that doesn't necessarily need to be the father when the women find community with other men and women that's where they can learn from a lot of these like again a lot of these men when it when you no longer have access to the mother you you act, act like the kid doesn't exist <laughs> You understand? I gotta make sure I have the right. I have two cards that are the same color. I gotta look at the damn number on the back. I'm almost to 400 stars. They be lying. I don't like when they lie like that. And I, I wanna, I wanna find that. Um, I want to find that clip of that man talking about that stat that these people keep on giving this stat that all, all the, the majority of the men, girl, the majority of the men, girl, then what does that, that don't say shit about the mothers who took, who took their responsibility. Maybe it's the absence of something that has something to do with how these people are turning out, not the presence of something. Now, if the presence is toxic, right? The present parent is a toxic person, then you're going to have a, a certain outcome. But you're not saying that, oh, the majority of people, nigga, it's 14 million single, single parent homes. And 80% of that 14 million is led by women. So you going to tell me, girl, <laughs> y'all be saying anything. And that's what happens. A woman, when you start spouting male rhetoric, you sound stupid. When you start doing a man's bidding, you sound like a damn fool. We gotta get it together. Oh, I can have my latte now. I was like looking at the time. Thank you so much. You too. Come on, happy holidays. Did I eat another one of those gummies? Girl, the gummies be so good. You be eating them, child, and you forget. You ever be out, like, out, like, okay, you, you ate a gummy and forgot, and then you be out, like, shopping, and all of a sudden you feel that, baby, you feel like, ding, 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 ding. Giraffe pussy achievement unlocked, honey. You be high as giraffe pussy in the damn store talking about, what ha what's going on? Then you'd be like, oh, shit. I ate some damn edibles. Girl, I think we could go now. I said I was only going to make one video today. I said I was going to make one video today. I, I'm tired. And I got one video that's going to premiere. You better get out the way, San Francisco Giants. Um, you, um, you don't, you don't, um. You don't, um, I don't want to, I don't feel like editing no more videos. So I said, I'm just going to do one video today on the way to the dispensary and back. So I did stop and get me a latte. So we, we, we had to make a few runs. 
because I want to see what else was coming on. Because I have a feeling that people's gonna be acting up today on the internet. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have to come back down here. I want to show you. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna stop for a little while. Okay, just for a little while because I want to find the guy on TikTok who talked about this stat that they keep talking about. Right? It's it's a fact. It's a fact. Shut your stupid ass up. Here we go. Listen. Crisis, a pandemic with this single mother ish. But it is a proven fact that single mother households produce the worst product. Facts. It's, it's a 100% fact. fact. Yeah. If you take two parent households, single father household, single mother household, statistically based on facts, yep. the household with the woman heading it by herself produces the worst product. And for our people, for black people, for African American people, those. Somebody call Barack Obama! Prisons are filled with a good majority. Of you our are 100% people, right? right. So these are facts. You yep. sit this on the table. Here go the facts. And then you say, so y'all need to start valuing men being involved in the lives of your children. I can't make you be with your baby daddy. Or we can't say that somebody has to stay with somebody. Because we know that children are being born out of situations where the two people aren't healthy together. Yeah. But you having access to a man and a woman during your upbringing needs to be brought back. I, I, I got to laugh when I say this because... You know, the females get so mad. We are in a fucking crisis. A pen. You heard her, right? You heard how she ended that? You already know what her level of her mind state is. You already know how she identifies. She referred to you and women as females. So you already know what, what when you hear a woman call women females, if they're not saying female rappers or female doctors or female plants or female humans, if they're not using it like that and they just calling you females, girl, that's like calling you a bitch in company. That's all it is. You a bitch in company. Right? That's all you are. That's where you know her mindset is. Let me go to Tiki Talk and see if I can find. Let me see if I can find that. Um. Hold on. Okay, let me see. I can go to my save. Let me go to my save. I think I saved it. Hopefully, let me let, let's let it load. Girl, why is the air on? Absolutely not. I should have got some chocolate. I was gonna get some chocolate, but I was like, I don't feel like it. Okay, let me see if I can find this guy that was talking about the. Oh, I don't have it. I know I follow him. I know I follow him, but he, let me see, follow, follow, who am I following? Okay, look, I can look at my following count. Um, let me find this dude, because he gives, he goes over that specific statistic um, and talks about how, when it was done, and the population that was absolute, that was um, where it was, oh, is this him? It is! Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Today in patriarchy, these are not facts. Here we are. Um, it's not men who are choosing to be single. Let me see. I can find it. I'm gonna find it. He is going to specifically talk about what she said. Well, that's facts. That's facts. When they're sitting up there talking about that. He is going to talk about that fact that they are talking about, the statistic that they are changing the narrative for and using it for something that is not actually what it was tested or surveyed for. Listen. Are literally the worst parents on the entire planet. Statistics back that over 70% of young men that grow up under a single mother, single mother in particular, end up in prison. So everything that this man just said is a complete lie, which means it must be time for another round of these aren't facts. They're just things you made up to justify your feelings. Now, the often quoted statistic is that 70% of inmates come from single mother homes, which would represent about 840,000 of the 1.2 million people incarcerated, according to the Department of Justice, in 2021. 
Meanwhile, 70% of the estimated 19 million children raised in single mother homes would be about 13 million. And I'm not sure how Aaron's defining young men, but even if we adjust for that, it would still be an absurdly wrong number. Okay, so Aaron misspoke, but what about that 70% statistic? That has to be correct, right? After all, it's repeated everywhere. Women gotta hold themselves accountable because 70% of boys in jail are raised by single mothers. Single sisters are to blame for the high population of men in jail. 70% of youth in juvenile delinquent facilities come from single mother homes. 80% of all youths in prison are from single mother homes. If you compare a single mother, there's 80% chance of going to jail. 80% of all prison inmates came from single mother's homes come from single mother homes and we are filling up these prisons with fatherless kids okay so we're not sure if it's 70 percent or if it's 80 percent if it represents all prisoners just young men or only black men but what we do know is that prisons are full of young men from single mother homes and the women folk are to blame for it and this statistic has been copy pasted across every website for fathers rights groups and family law attorneys representing fathers but notice that it's different. It's 70% of juveniles in state-operated institutions, not prisoners. But even that claim is wrong. It comes from this 1987 report from the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And it says across all... From a 1987 report. 1987. These men are quoting statistics from when they were in elementary school. When they themselves were in elementary school. And they're using it to push this rhetoric and blaming women for every single thing that's wrong in the black community. As if these niggas aren't scared of each other running around here. Juveniles in state operated institutions, 70% of them did not come from a two parent home, which includes single mothers, but also single fathers, homes where the child was raised by other relatives and foster homes. In fact, single parents were only 54%, and of that, 48.4 were single mother households. But it's important to remember that this is 35-year-old data about juveniles in juvenile institutions, not prisons. And they only surveyed about 10% of juveniles, so while it might be indicative, it should not be taken as a concrete fact. Now, the statistics on inmates are actually fairly easy to get, thanks again to the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And in 2002, they showed that the number of offenders from single mother homes actually dropped from 41 to 39%, and went back up in 2016 to 41.1%. Meanwhile, homes with a father represented 40.7% of all offenders. It's almost neck and neck. So while prisons may not be overflowing with offenders from single mother households, it does represent an elevated risk about two to three times. And since your lifetime incarceration risk is about 5%, what that means is instead of 70% of children raised by single mothers going to jail, actually well over 80% will avoid ever seeing a jail. Okay, but that still means that single moms offer the worst outcomes, right? Well, studies have also looked at incarceration rates for different household types. And they did, again, find that three times risk for single mother house. So out of 10 mothers with, with sons, 10 single mothers with sons, two of them are likely to be incarcerated. To me, that sounds like a more realistic statistic or a number, right? Than to say that 80%, what? No, y'all are flipping it around. It's actually 20%. Not 80%. And that's what happens when people are just, that they actually just watch somebody say something, whatever they put on the plate in front of them, they eat whatever's on the plate, they digest it and then regurgitate it and have done, have done no research on it. Have done no research. So you out here, so that lets me know that your goal in talking about this statistic is to blame a woman. Y'all not even worried about, okay, so why are you saying that these men become violent offenders because they were raised by a single mother? What are you saying? What are you saying? They don't even realize it. Listen, finish listening to him. And you can see that when we adjust for social, educational, and economic disparity, that risk drops to about two times. But before single fathers start to crow about this, look what happens when dad gets a new partner. They offer some of the worst outcomes. And when we remove the economic advantage that single fathers often have, you can see that single fathers with a new partner offer the worst outcomes, beating out single mothers, single mothers with stepfathers, and even children not raised by either parent. So if we really care about childhood outcomes, we need to be teaching men not to ignore their children the minute a new woman shows up. Hello? Even if we just want to focus on improving the outcomes for single mother households, then we need to talk about what causes them, which is absentee fathers. Because absentee fathers are a huge problem. Anywhere between a fifth and a quarter of all fathers have no contact with any of their children. 
And this is often framed as, oh, my baby mother or my B of an ex-wife doesn't let me see the kids. But that's also not true, because when we look only at men with high levels of custody, 40%, almost half of those who start out with weekly contact, virtually abandon their children within eight years, having little to no contact. And studies have looked into the risk factors for father abandonment and found that once again top of the list is fathers who have a new partner. And if they have a child with that new partner, then virtually all of them abandon their previous children. So if we really care about improving childhood outcomes, then we need to stop talking about single mothers and instead talk about the disgusting attitudes and behaviors in fathers that treat their children as disposable. So you do actually need men to survive. And here's so that's all I wanted to play. I wanted to de debunk that thick neck heifer over there. That's what happens when you start speaking for men and people who have an ounce of brain will look at you and be like, girl, you sound entire. You sound stupid. You sound less than smart. That's facts. Listen to what they say. It's fact. It's a fact. No, it's not. And y'all are really literally talking about a study that was done when y'all were children and you still using it today still using it here we go we are in a fucking crisis a pandemic with this single mother and but it is a proven fact that single mother households produce the worst product facts it's a fact, fact yeah. if you take two-parent households Single father household, single mother household. Statistically, based on facts, yep. the household with the woman heading it by herself produces the worst product. And for our people, for black people, for African-American people, those single mother households are the reason why prisons are filled with a good majority of our... Um, of our men. Ugh. Anyways, um, do, you, do you hear her? Do you hear her? And that's why you, you don't sound smart. I said she's a male identified liar spewing rhetoric that doesn't serve her doing a man's bidding. So boom, after the child leaves a parental home, it is the, it is influenced by their peers, their society and by culture refer to rap lyrics. The majority of solo parents don't raise boys to become the men who are terrorizing in society. Most boys who come from a solo parent home search for community with other males. And what happens with, with those males is that they learn toxic, harmful ways of relating to women, relating to each other and to society as a whole. It is not them coming from single parents home, single parent homes. It's them being influenced by peers, culture and society. Once those three influences start to develop the opinions of a man, that parental influence is not as impactful anymore. So stop blaming solo parents and blame culture and the patriarchal powered society now a word from adults who grew up in two-parent homes with toxic emotionless fathers I, I, I said I loathe liars I said she's stating I said from 50 years ago it's 40 years ago she's stating that's uh, stating facts but the statistic that she's trying to quote is from over 50 years ago referring to a certain population of incarcerated people just remember you can come from a single parent home and become the president of the united states or become a menace to society child to barack obama who came from a single parent home shout out to tyler perry who came from a single mother home i bet you i can i can find i can in in 10 women who raise children like I said, you might find one or two whose child went off the rails and became whatever he became and ended up in jail. 20%. I can, I can, if, if they were to say, I can get jiggy with that. I can get jiggy with that. Two out of 10 men raised in a single mother home will be incarcerated. I could like, I could be like, okay, I, I may, maybe, maybe, maybe so, maybe so, maybe so. But then I look over at King Harris and I say, girl, he was raised by more than one person. Mama, daddy and grandma live with the grandmama, he said. Right. How many kings like King Harris do we see running around? Come from two parent homes, damn terrorists. So, honey, it's just the luck of the draw. 
I really don't think it has anything to do with the, the, the person coming from the, the only part that I could see is because they came from a single parent, they go single mother, they go look for communities with men. And then, then, then you could see the results of that. Because those communities of men, whether they came from a single mother home or a two parent home, they have ideologies that they, they're going to teach teach this person. They're going to be influenced by them. They're going to learn how to perform masculinity in harmful ways. Knock down everybody you can, son. Just be loose with your dick. Just let your, do, your dick loose. Disrespect yourself. Disrespect your body, honey. They're going to give them all kind of fucked up advice because you don't know where they came from. You don't know what household they came from, what was going on in their household, what, what was acceptable in their household, what was normal in their household. You don't know. So I got to go. So take care of each other. Tell them people that you said you was going to go over. You don't want to go over the, your family's house. Tell them the niggas you changed your mind. I changed my mind, God damn it. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill at home today. Y'all have a good time. Okay, talk to y'all later. Hang up and put that motherfucking phone on. Do not disturb. Pop you some fucking rosé. Get you get your your Thanksgiving food together, whatever. Order in, have some food delivered. I don't know. But you don't have to be around no motherfucking body that you don't want to be around. Protect your damn energy. You understand me? Take care of each other. Take care of yourself and center yourself. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're okay. You understand? put your oxygen mask on first. Take care of each other and protect your energy, all right? Eat all the turkey. Have fun with your family, your chosen family. Have fun with them, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.